<coughs> Meh. Mm, testing. Testing, yeah. One, two, three, yeah. Testing, one, two, three, hey. I think I'm online, if I'm not mistaken. Yo, welcome back to Venkabot Neo Action. My name is David. I um, took a little bit of a break there. I had some uh, apples talking to my friends uh, Dick Zucker, Overload Steve, and of course our friend Deustra. Uh, just leveled up a couple times, I guess. So now I can go back and kill a bunch of enemies I already killed. Let's do that, shall we? I want to go this way, I think, right? Hey there, palsy. Bonk, bonk. Do that. And go bonk, bonk. Do that. Oh, hi there. Bonk, bonk. Do that. Bonk. Oh, he's got no head? Say a word? Okay, so I'm going to go over here now. Break this. Roll through here. Drop down here. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk. Bonk. Easy peasy. Oh, wait. Look at all that perp. That's perp, I think, right? Or is that blue? I think it's perp. Let's summon him. Cut down by skeleton warrior. Yo, da 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 da. Ouch. Ouch. Yo, bruh, you need to fucking relax. I'm telling you what. Oh, I'm gonna die here. You missed me. Could have killed me too. Need some stamina. Real bad. Okay. That's some really sloppy play. But that was unbelievably sloppy. It's okay. We got this, the Warrior of the West, to do. I do, I do, I do, ooh. Does Kel love orange soda? How does it go now? Who loves, yeah, who loves orange soda? Kel loves orange soda. I do, I do, I do, ooh. Okay. Well, that was a lot of wasted elixir. Oh, wow, what a whiff. Oh, we got two guys here. That's actually really bad. Oh, I'm dead. I am fucking ass in this game all of a sudden. I was doing real well before. The apple was poison, bro. Wait, I'm, I'm changing stances somehow. Dude, I suck at this game now. Nah, what happened? What happened? I wasted so much elixir. I'm wasting my elixir, bro. Well, I guess I should probably go back, huh? And get my elixir refilled. I guess. I really blew it. I thought I was the easy path. Turns out, I think not so much. Bonk, bonk. Wow, what a whiff. Stop it. Any treasure? Nope. I think I have some hard souls I need to level up, I guess. I guess to come that way next time, huh? Fighting these two-on-ones is uh, not good for my health. Okay, so I think it needs like, what, like, 5,000 to level up or something? Probably have hard souls. How much do I need? 6,000 to level up. I need 3,000 more. Do I have that in hard souls? Sort it by type. Here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Skill points. Who cares? Spirit stones. I have six of those and five of those. Five of those is plenty. I'm gonna use these first, though. Let's use five of these. Mm 
Okay. Use too many of those. It's whatever. Let's see you use uh, three of those. Okay, I can use uh, two more. Alright, not gonna level up. Level up. And put it into what? Body was gonna be pretty well for a while. No. So nothing will raise my uh, right-handed attack right now. So I can get 30 health and 2 on my Kusari Gama. Or I can get 15 health and a little more equip load. Or I can get some uh, Key Pulse stuff. And I like the stamina. Mmm, key dokey. Let's uh, not get fucked this time, shall we? If we can possibly help it, I mean. Usually it's not a good thing. Okay. Run over here, kill this guy. Got that. Barely you can get up. Sneak a kill on them if they're still laying down. Interesting. Can run this way. I'm not sure it saves me any trouble. Hey, look at that. Okay. So I want to go this way now. Hey there, buddy. He's still alive down there, piece of shit. It's okay, that's where I want to go anyway. Wow, this guy. Why is he running that far? Why is he going over there? So he's got perp for days. Or is that I think it's perp? Let's say I ran over here into the into the stinky gas. Okay. That was pretty nice. So what do I got here? Anything cool? Got a shortcut I kicked down here. Noise. I know where this is. Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Yes, you can. You can drop down there and go back up there. Okay. Alright, I understand what's going on here. Let's summon this guy. And fight him to the death. He's got some perp, I think. The man needs his perp. Okay, he dropped his stuff down there. Hopefully not. I don't think so. Yay, more reputation level, I guess. Whatever that means. There's a fucking shrine right there! Steve lied to me. Why would Steve lie? He wants me to lose? Is Steve trying to sabotage me? Well, let's pray here. Yeah, I got some souls for that. I don't know why, but it does sometimes. So if I had two more thousand souls, I could level up. What are these Kodamas like these days? I get a lot higher elixir drop rate. Or materials as well. Okay, well that's convenient. Do I have two thousand more souls? Probably not, right? No, certainly not. Okay. So I can go down there. That's where I, wa That's where I want to go, I think, right? 
Yes, sure it is. Bonk. So I want to kill one of these big motherfuckers down here. Because they're kind of scary. And I want to learn how to deal with them. Maybe that's the wrong way to think. Maybe you're not supposed to worry about these guys and just try and avoid them. This is like a waypoint, I think, this big rock with the rope around it. Okay. This ain't no ninja guy, I'll tell you what. It's action. Bonk. Yeah, it's much more akin to Dark Souls in terms of it being slow as paced as hell and really abusable. Let's kill this guy. He's just gonna stomp around if I don't and, and menace me. He's down for the count. There's some more of these little winners around here, right? More of these uh, miniature winners. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right over there, there's one. Back there, there's one of those cop kappas that say, don't respawn. He's gonna go over his head a lot. Yo, Cap, are you still in here? I think he might be a one-time spawn. He had dropped in pretty sweet loot. Okay, so Cap has only spawned once, or maybe they have a low chance of spawning. Anybody here I'm worth uh, anybody here worth fighting? No. Ninjas hate pirates, that's a fucking old school. I respect that. I got handle with ninjas hate pirates. Oh, Bluetooth died. There we go. Spooky. And I need a new controller eventually, I think. But that costs money. That's perp. Pretty high level, but I really don't care. Mm. Lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Get anything good for me, dude? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just smash triangle. I love it. Too strong. There's treasure up there. I want that treasure. Yo, I think you have the full way of the west. Yeah, I might. Is that a good thing? Should I be excited? Except for the pickaxe. Is the pickaxe of the west? That sounds amazing. Any good uh, treasure for me, bro? No. I want that treasure up there. How do I get that? I had to drop down from above. So I got a secret drop. Ooh, this guy's got perp. He's level 42, though. Should I be scared? No. Triangle for the win. Best button in the game. So it's a set. So do you get a bonus for running an entire set in this game? I kind of want to go back up here. There's going to be winners in here, though. 
But I think they're not that dangerous. I think there's only a couple of the small ones. This guy's by himself, I recall. Making fun of him for being by himself. There's at least one more guy in here. You can look up in the menu. Yeah, it says provide bonuses. Okay. So a set will provide... A, if you wear the whole set, you get a bonus. Interesting. I have to look at that. Okay, anybody else in here? These glowing markers on my map, are they enemies? I think they are, huh? I want to kill this guy, I think. Uh-oh. We got two on one action. Okay. Everybody's dead. Kind of looks her back to you. That's nice. Let's see here. I'm sorry. I'm in the kitchen with you guys here. You get bonuses based on how many pieces of the set you're wearing. More pieces is more bonuses. Yeah, I disagree with that. That's annoying. That uh, kills fashion souls, man. Don't be doing that. Uh, I never. I never. This is in quite a few games. I hate it in every game it's in. Make you match a set. Ooh, level 28. Lots of perp. Ready to give me that perp, son? Give me that perp, son. Two perp. Two perp, five you. <laughs> Can I drop in here and get an item? Yeah. That's disgusting, dude. Don't want to land on that. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Yo, fucking Jumanji. You're playing Jumanji now? So here have I not yet killed? I'm killing lots of peeps. There's a guy back there. Or there's a couple of guys back there. No perp. Eh, maybe one piece perp might be blue though. That looks like it's all blue. Oh hi there. Okay. Bop, bop. I didn't do just jack shit there. It's okay. Some stamina back. That's fine, I really don't care. <laughs> okay. You see that? That was bizarre. <laughs> I evaded it. Thank you, Steve, for the uh, color commentary with my colorblind ass. I can smash this, right? Go around the outside. <coughs> I got a, excuse me. Got a sneak attack on that guy if I wanted to. Wait, what? Excuse me. Oh, there we go. I have like a little. My radar tells me where guys are. That's crazy. Not very Dark Souls ish. I can go around up here and get him, maybe. Yo, that guy's looking pretty creepy. This guy's from dark, fucking Dark Souls, man. Oh, yo! Listen, dude. Oh, there's somebody behind there. You need to fucking relax, dude. Come over here. Try and command throw me again. Holy fuck, he came and fucking found my ass, yo. This guy caught me out, he cashed me outside. Yo. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Hey, Eric, welcome aboard, bro. How's it going, home slice? 
I'm enjoying myself right now, to be honest. I'm actually enjoying this dungeon a lot. Hey, Kodama. Almost missed him. Yo, this guy wins, dude. He's got treasure down there, too. Yo. I'm scared of that guy. I've got my full meter, though. Might be a good chance to use that and experiment, see what he's like, see how he fights. This guy's got a little bit of perp. I'm not too worried about it. So, uh, Eric really likes Second Son, it seems. Oh, he's got winners down there. The command grabs or what? Okay. I think he might still be alive. No, he's dead. Where's his friend? His friend died already? I think his friend died when I opened up that can of whoop ass with my spell. Now, do you know what Cash Man Side Girl has her own rap song? Yeah, I've heard that before. Her, she does. Good for her. She had uh, her five, her 15 minutes to try to capitalize on it, right? She had her 15 and she saw that as an open door and really went for it. I think she probably made a shit ton of money by now. If she has any idea of how to manage it. A little bit of perp, I don't care. Let's uh, use this. So, I think about fighting that um, big guy by himself, I could have um, observed him better. But I was kind of nervous, and I kind of just hit buttons. Oh, here's another one. That's not so bad. I need to punish that next time. Okay. Put him in his eye! Oh! Okay. Okay. I'm actually enjoying this right now. Punish that. Should have dodge rolled that instead of trying to hit R1. Actually, just use a faster attack to punish that. I actually really enjoy that fight. Reminds me of good fights in Dark Souls. Uh, based on the Dr. Phil episode, she seemed incredibly mature and well-disciplined. I'm sure she's doing very well. Yeah, well, she might have a good manager. That's what I mean. Yeah, Steve's got me with the link. I like that. I don't think I watched it. I've heard about it. So here's where I summoned that guy from. He was blocking this door. Treasure. Where does this lead? Probably toward the boss. You bastards. Do those exist? Yeah, I don't know. Managers are usually notoriously ass. Bruh! Look at your naked ass. Oh, wow. That's pretty raw. So beautiful. Please take my blood. Oh, take my blood. Oh. What do we got here? Wannabe samurai. Okay. So we're pretty, this must be the boss room, I think. It's looking pretty boss-like. Let's go back. To be fair, Venka, I can't send you anything worse than I already have. That's true. Steve already took my Bill Nye uh, home slice virginity. Yeah, sex junk. Okay, let's see here. Let's uh, nom nom nom. And carry on killing guys. That's more fun than fighting bosses, right? less spoop. Ooh, you sons of bitches. How dare you? How could you? Alright, what do we got here? Any more of these, uh, you know, winners? There's gotta be more winners around here. I know there is. Where's the big rock with the rope around it? I don't to get my bearings. There it is. Okay. So that means I need to, uh, 
explore around here, maybe? This is where the Kappa was. Danielle Brigoli, is that her name? I don't know. Sounds like a type of pasta. kind of does. Danielle Brigoli. I guess I've noticed how the word broccoli seems like an Italian name. Italian word. Broccoli. Has a macaroni with broccoli on the side. Dude. You're being kind of an asshole. I'm winded. But now I winded, if you know what I mean. I think you do. I'm gonna walk over here and use this. Don't mind me. Nobody's here. Hey, dude. Right in your fucking eyeball. Oh, that was my bad. Oh, I was winded. I took a lot of damage there, too. Watch the stamina. There we go. Use the roll instead. Went for a command grab and he whiffed it. I got no stamina back for that. You doing? You taunting me? Unwise, my bro. Unwise. Cash me outside, so. How about that? I love that meme. I wish that meme would come back. But it's one of those memes that never could. Blah, blah, blah. And that would be that. I think I fully explored this area. I want to level up before I fight the boss. Let's go do that, and then go fight the boss. Ravioli, ravioli. Give me the formuoli. <laughs> I don't know that reference, but it sounds amazing. You had to swear off ravioli, right? I can't eat ravioli anymore. What do we got here? And that's all blue. Labadee labadai. Okay. SpongeBob, I see. Not my generation. You guys, you young guys. And your Sponge Robert. Your yellow Spongeman. Okay. Let's see here. Don't know why I'm coming this way, to be honest. I don't really need to. It's probably too mature for me. Yeah, a little bit. It goes over my head most of the time. That's why I can't watch it. Ha, my dad actually likes Spongebob more than I do. You wouldn't understand the humor. I probably wouldn't. Okay, let's go back down here. Run across here. Talk to the shrine here. Live up a couple times. Level me up. Uh, what do we got here? That raised my strength by one. That's pretty sick. That raised by two, though. But I get less health. I'm gonna go with stamina, though. Because I like it. That gives me one point now. That still gives me one point. I'm gonna body this time. Let's go body. Girl, look at that body. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go fight a boss and get our fucking ass kicked. That's what you lose when you die. You lose your Amrita and you use your lose your money as well. Bonk, bonk. Mm, bloop. 
Give me that, whatever that is. I don't even know what money's for. Okay, so where am I going? I should have paid closer attention. That way or this way? I think it's supposed to be this way. Here's my thing. I think I have to run past all you guys. Run past you guys. I'm thinking I have to go over here. Yeah, over here. Excuse me, boys. Money is mainly used for forging and reforging. Okay. But do I lose it when I die? That's what I think. All right, we got bosses, guys. Let's get killed a few times. It's gonna be Batman. They talk about sucking blood. That's what Batman does. Vampire Batman. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, we do got vampires. I think it's Kyogetsuki in Japanese. Yeah, we got Team Ninja. Yeah, I don't know. That ain't Team Ninja. It is fucking Batman. Okay. Okay, that's a pretty good reach. Oh, I got paralyzed. I'm still paralyzed, I think. She has fans. Ooh, okay. She goes, huh, and so it's a fireball. Hella paralyzed, yeah. One, two, three has her melee. Oh, I swear I dodged that. I'm still getting used to the frames in this game to dodge. Oh, I didn't dodge that. I tried to heal instead. GG. Do you just assume it's gender? Fuck yeah, I do. That's Batman. I got SpongeBob links from Steve. Where am I? Okay. Let's try it again. I still have my money, so apparently I don't lose that. Run over here. Oh no, that's the wrong button. That's the Dark Souls button for running. Let's use this game's buttons if we can. Usually it makes more sense to use the buttons for the game you're playing. I found over my many years of playing video games. If you try to hit the buttons for the other games that you've played, usually they don't work. Sometimes they do. Usually it's for the best though to use the buttons for the game. Okay, so... Um, I think I need to change my stance maybe for faster attacks so I can dodge roll better. Hit it. Stay close to it. So it can't be freezing me all the time. I could equip a paralyzing cure, but if I use all those up, then I'm gonna not have any anyway, so. The trick is just not get hit, I guess, and don't get paralyzed. Okay. He's got pretty good uh, tracking. Okay. You can, you can bait its range pretty well. With the, with the, so stay close. Punish it. Whiff, make it whiff. There you go. Is that a punish? Kind of. There you go. That move is nasty. That move is real nasty. What am I supposed to do to avoid that, do you think? Dodge sideways? Yo, why is it gonna freaking combo me to death with his paralysis and then make me run all the way back to fight it? Because we spawned me in front of the boss room, brah. Okay. Kill this guy dropping down. So he's just a spin attack. That's the deadliest thing, is the spin attack. Hits a pretty wide radius and it comes at you. Have fun. I thought I could, maybe I can block the spin attack. Yo, I'm not enough L1, Dark Souls. Let's try that. Less dodge rolling, more blocking. I don't know. 
Because it's kind of hard to manage your stamina. So blocking is not always a good decision for managing stamina. And if you're staying that close to it, I have to manage my stamina real carefully. I have to figure out, if I do my dodge roll right when I get a key pulse, does I get stamina back for that? Yeah, I think I would, right? Fade it? No. Blocked it, didn't get paralyzed. Got stamina back. Okay. Okay, I got I blocked that one and got paralyzed because of the fireball. Eat. Okay. No punish. Could have dodged through that, perhaps. Could have punished that, maybe? You can see what she's about to spin. You can see what she's about to spin. Get the kick. There it is. Okay. Could have dodged that. Okay. I hit by that one. I missed the timing of that a little bit. Okay. Can actually punish her after that. Kind of. Not really, no. You don't want to be that close to her with that little stamina. Okay. I didn't, yeah, I'm not supposed to block that one. Okay, I dodged too early there. Okay, I dodged that too late. This would mash out of that, do you think? Or probably not. Huh? I can punish her and then block afterward, kind of. Break the last hit, nothing. Me again. No? Okay. Get away. Okay, get some more stamina. Watch her left arm when she does that move. Two for the third one. No? Okay. Alright. Watch out for these uh, things. Excuse me. Yeah, it's tough. I don't get much warning for that. A lot of elixir, though. Ouch! Okay. Uh, I think my strategy is correct. I need to get better at execution. I think it's going to be a theme in this game, because the dodge roll has very few iframes. I have to get better at dodging when she goes, huh, and then throws that fireball at me. Aside from that, I'm fine. Watch her left arm when she does this twirl. And that's all there is to it. Try and bait her to do her third attack with her um, kicks and with her uh, umbrella. You can bait the third attack by, uh, by um, um, you know, dancing in front of her. And then you punish her for the third attacks. Then for the, uh, for the huh, you have to dodge roll. Guarding in high stance consumes more stamina than mid. Thank you, Requiem's Love. Um, I don't think that's a fireball. Pretty sure it's a sound wave. <laughs> Thank you, Dix. <laughs> I assume Dix meant that as, um, I don't think it's a fireball. Pretty sure it's a sound wave thingy. Since she's a bat and all. Okay, starts off with a cheap shot. Stay close. There's that. Kind of punish, maybe? A little bit? Okay. Okay, see, I got fucked by that one again. You have to be very, you have to respect that so much. There it is. No, that's not it. No third attack. Bait this one. There it is. Hit her. Get away. Shit! Should have uh, hit L1. 
Bait it. Nothing. Okay. Can I go punish? Not really. She has command grabs too? Shit. She has taunts? Okay. I could hit that and roll away, perhaps? Oh, fuck. See, when I'm talking, I can't hear her doing it. You cheap bitch. Damn. So few iframes in this roll, dude. Maybe I should hold the X button when she says, huh, and then run around her. You know, run uh, laterally to her. That might be better. Okay. When she goes, huh, just hold down the X button and run laterally. Because that roll seems inconsistent for that kind of thing. At least at my skill level. Again, the, the iframes are very tight. It's going to be a very execution-centric game, I think. You have to have really pinpoint timing to dodge this stuff. Okay, I gotta check my gear. That couldn't hurt. Oh, I got my guard broken there. Nah, see, you have to watch that arm, man. Nope, running doesn't help. do it really early. Oh shit, see? You have to react to that real fast. I think I have to dodge that really early. I need to heal. You bitch. Okay, so she can come down. <laughs> kind of wondering if she could. Okay, that's fine. I can't believe I couldn't get my triangle button on her because I was fucking didn't have no stamina. I could have just pulsed it, got the stamina back. But she got second form? Okay. Should have pulsed that anyway. I have no stamina. I can't eat while running. Okay, that explains a lot of confusion I've had. Oh, I'm, no, I'm out of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I, I try and buffer my uh, elixir like I do in Dark Souls, and it doesn't work. So if I'm, like, doing a dodge roll and I hit up, sometimes it gets eaten up by the dodge roll or an attack. But, uh, yeah, there I thought I couldn't do it while running, but no, it's just because I had none left. I don't, I don't, I don't mind this so much. I'm kind of enjoying it. I just wish I didn't have to fucking run back here every time. 
No, it feels like a typical Dark Souls boss fight, really. It's just, you know, Bloodborne logic. See, when I'm getting salty, the word Bloodborne comes out. And by that, I mean, um, very execution-centric, and uh, you die in three hits. So it's like a typical Dark Souls fight, but uh, you have to do it many more times because it's just, you know, less forgiving in terms of the damage dealt and the reaction times you're allowed to have. In other words, Dark Souls was faster and they hit harder. That's Bloodborne in a nutshell. That's this boss fight in a nutshell. You have to react faster and they hit harder. Okay. Well, I can hold block while I'm stunned. Hey, stamina. I wonder if I'd do better to dodge past her. Get behind her so she has to spin around. Damn. Should have sipped there. I think if I see her flinch, I should block, just in case. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm stunned. Okay, I'm stun locked. I mean, because of the... Uh... Nope. See, I should have blocked. I should have blocked that. I think when she flinches, I should block. And then if she's... I can still sway. Oh, no, I got stay. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Way to whiff, girl. I can still move. There we go. So you block that. Hit her. Dodge roll past her? Not really. That's bad timing. That was an illegal sip. Oh, I can't believe I dodged into that. I'm telling you, this is it's very delicate uh, frames in this game. Oh, it comes closer. Maybe it's bigger. At that range, you can't dodge sideways? No, I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I have uh, anti-paralysis pins I could be using, but again, it's Dark Souls logic, where if you use a special item to cure yourself in a fight and you get a game over, you don't get the items back, so... Only use them if you're sure you're gonna win. And because you're never sure you're going to win, they never get used. It's like you're supposed to be able to win without using them, right? So you never end up using them. Because it's, again, it's more important to not get hit than it is to uh, cure your stats when you do get hit. All you're thinking is, well, if I use up ten of these potions and then I die, then I'm not going to go get those back, so... They never get used. I'm thinking whenever she flinches and she ain't going, I should uh, hit the black button. Well, stamina is an issue, of course. Stay close. You see? Okay. Do it real early. Okay. There's the flinch. Oh, no, no, I can't block that. I mean, I came with a, a lighter stance, probably. One, two. If I'm far enough away, I can react better to that. Dodge really early. Dodge right through. Okay. So you can dodge through. But I didn't... Yeah, talking I can't hear it. <laughs> I have to go silent for this, I guess, because the sound cues are so important.
damn. Oh, he broke my guard, I think. Now you stamina. Okay. Thought I was safe there. I don't know. What's a dodge roll that use my iframes? recognized at that time. Need some stamina. Oh! That was pretty fast. But if I was backstepping, it wouldn't hit me. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to not commentate as much. So I need to be able to hear when she goes, Hur! so I can dodge roll it. Because from that distance, there's not much of a visual cue, but there's a pretty good audio cue. I guess maybe in a execution-focused game, commentary is not going to be as uh, solid, huh? Interesting to think about. Because Dark Souls is very forgiving, so you can kind of talk while playing. But this game's going to be more about frame perfect timing. Might have to concentrate more, huh? It's kind of a drag. I can dodge roll that pretty early, I think is the idea. Dodge roll it early. Go right through. Get a punish. But again, managing stamina is an issue as well. I think when you dodge roll to do a pulse, you do get stamina back. But because I'm a heavy character, it's also using part of that stamina that I got back. So it doesn't seem like it's as much. Yeah, if I block two hits, I'm fucked. Get away, get some stamina. Ooh, okay. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, this game has an interesting risk-reward where you want to pulse. Sometimes you just don't have time to pulse. Wrong button. No. See, I try and dodge roll away, and that hits me. Oh, right. That's the sound she makes when she has a fireball. I don't have time to do a pulse. Well, I'm really out of stamina. I don't have time to do a pulse left right attack. At least with this stance. I think I have to do a... Do I get... How much do I get back if I'm blocking anything? Yes, but it's very slow. I feel like I need to attack and then block. I'm gonna be stubborn about using the stance. 
Because after I attack her, even though it feels like a quote-unquote punish, I'm still very vulnerable. She starts with another move It's too fast. Because I want to dodge roll it. I want to dodge roll away, but it don't work. But then again, if I punish her, if I punish her and she does that twirly gig and I'm blocking, she's going to break my guard anyway. Maybe high stance is not feasible for this. I mean, it would make the most sense to just go low stance, right? Because that has the least stamina cost. You do the least damage, but it doesn't matter. Because you're going to have to... You know, the less damage you do, the longer the fight's going to be. But it's more important to be able to defend over a long fight. So, I think that's what you have to do, right? Just hit her with square. You just hit her with square, and then dodge roll. Hit her with square, and dodge roll. Slowly chip her away. Let's try that. Okay. Oh, I'm paralyzed after that? Bullshit. Double paralyzed. Amazing. That's a right idea, though. You just have to go super conservative, do less damage, but defend, and then do that same damage for longer. It means a lot more perfect dodges you have to do, but otherwise you have no good defensive option. Because I need to be able to escape it for punishing. And if I use the high stance, that's not going to happen. I'm going to do an attack. Even just one square attack, one light attack. I already have too little stamina to effectively get away. Also, it's a lot faster to key pulse, I guess, when you're in this stance. So it would seem. Oh, right, so she makes sure she does that. Oh no, it's harder. I have to re retrain my pulse timing. Ooh, yeah, if you dodge too early, you're fucked there. She tracks. No pulse there? Oh, maybe it's not as short as I think it is. anymore. Oh, I don't have the skill! Right! I can only pulse with R1 with this weapon, with this stance. Well, I can go buy the skill, I guess. Pulsing's not really important, though, because I use so little stamina. Hmm. 
didn't recognize it too fast enough. Okay. So I need to buy that skill. I can pulse with my dodge. To make the dodge cheaper, I guess. Even though, again, I don't feel like I really need to pulse if with this stance. I'm not running out of health. I'm running out of stamina or key or whatever. Let's go buy it. Might as well buy the other one, too. Mid-stance. Activates when you recover full key. Based the damage of your cause by your next attack, okay? Okay. Low stance. Damage cause by next attack, gotcha. Okay, anything else here that I should be aware of? Follows up a combo with an upward slice. If the attack depletes an enemy's key, it'll lift them and hurl them back. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need anything else. It's not like I can keep pulse on a dodge with the low stance. That'll get rid of those clouds she makes, but again, it's not been a huge issue so far. So what is my issue? Just basic execution. She goes, huh, I don't dodge, I get hit by the uh, fireball, I get paralyzed, get killed. Or then she, I don't recognize when she pulls her left hand back, and then she does a little spin attack. That's all there is to it, very basic. You miss a couple of uh, cues and you die. She has an audio cue, huh, for the fireball, you have to dodge it. She has that charge attack, you have to dodge that one late, right when she's next to you. Then she does that move where she spins, you have to block it. And you have to recognize the spin pretty soon, pretty quick. Nope, see, that's not it. It looks very similar. Damn! See, I thought she was going to do a close range attack right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, it's so fast! And she reels back just like the other attack. It's just very slightly different. Very late dodge. Damn, that's so quick. Yo. Okay. I think outside the box here. Like, apparently I can't react to her spin attack. What's my other options if I'm not going to be reacting? I want to say, whenever I'm near her, block. And then, if she does her kick, then let go of block and sway back. But I'm afraid it's not that easy. That's my fear. If I'm near her, just hold block. And then if she hits, because my fear is that if I block her kicks, I'm going to get my guard depleted. Let's try that. I, I guess, I, you know, the guard takes less, you know, stamina when I'm in the low stance. Maybe I can guard the kicks, okay. Also, I should change my gear at some point. I think I have some better gear. Okay. Guard. No, it's still two kicks still break my guard. Nah, I don't like this. It's not a good strategy. See, that is, you know, her charge for that move is, you know, distinct. It's just very... Not that this is very little distinction. See, it's, no, no, see, I thought that was it. That one's very distinct. She spins the opposite way. I 
can't even outrun it. I should just run backward the whole time, like this. Could I have more time to react to it? Sure. Seems to be okay. Oh, even then I was too slow. Fuck, I thought that was the other one. Okay. No, you can't really do that. Walk backwards. There it is. Okay. It's fine. Look, I can bait that. I think I have the right idea with walking backward. Better do something and then walk backward. You have more time to react. I'm stamina back. Bader, get away. Oh, fuck. Fucking hell, bro. She has to have one fucking paralyze. It fucked you up. That's the right idea, though. You have to get into melee range and then walk backward and see what happens. That gives you a couple more frames to react to the spin. You still have time to walk back in to bait the third hit out of her umbrella or her kicks. I kind of want to go back to high stance, to be honest. Um, let's do that. All right. Okay, I've got an idea of what I'm doing here. Got a plan, let's execute it. Oh, wait, yeah, it costs more stamina to attack now, I forgot. Yeah, see, this is not going to work in high stance. Yeah, okay. We got to go to medium stance. You can't even dodge roll at that distance to get away from that. You have to block it. Oh, I dodge rolled through that. Come on.
See a few more frames there, very important. She always goes back after that. Damn, that's so much damage. Wow. Yo. Okay, I think mid stance is a good balance between uh, getting the damage I want and still having stamina left over after attacking to uh, defend myself. Stay mid. plan remains the same. Um, get in as close as you can, and then once you're in melee range, walk backward. Walking backward gives me a few extra frames to block the spin. And if it's not the spin, I can still sway back inside to bait the third attack of either her kicks or her umbrella to give me some damage. So I guess it's a matter of execution. The plan is there, but if I can't perfectly dodge these fireballs. I'm gonna get paralyzed, I'm gonna get killed. I don't always have the luxury of pulsing. I can pulse right here, because she always goes backward. So salty, dude. You make one fucking mistake and you're dead. I mistimed that roll by like six frames. Death. That couldn't have been more of a twentieth of a second off. Oh, excuse me, uh, a fifth of a second. This boss has got my number, I know. I know, man. Hmm, okie dokie. It's very simple patterns. It's just a matter of execution. Oh, she doesn't always go back, apparently. was right through, dude. This is so delicate with these fucking timings on these dodge rolls in this, uh, in this game. <sighs> I 
This is the tightest dodge roll timing I've ever seen in a fucking video game. I've dodge rolled in many. You can't even block that fireball, it'll still paralyze you. Okay. Well, that's funny. I held the up button down right when it maxed out, I fell off. Dodge roll that fucking fireball, bro. I can't believe it. Maybe I should mash the X button? Maybe that's how it works in this game. I mean, he does do, like, special animation when you do that. Maybe you have more iframes if you do it that way. I don't know. Seems unlikely. By the walls, okay. Didn't get paralyzed. Damn, I swear I dodge rolled that dude. The timing is ridiculous. Come on. Well, let's look at our gear, shall we? I have better gear. I think. What do we got? Let's not stand here, this is really noisy. Let's try here. Okay, so let's sort it by type. Right now my gear has 26 on it total. I want something much better. 32 is a little bit better. I go up to 36, I guess. It seems to actually weigh less. Uh, but why can't I wear it? Are my stats not high enough? Yeah, my stats aren't high enough. I need more strength. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. It's got 32 there. Oh, here's here's order by type. Okay. And what do we got here? A little extra life. Treasure sense. Who cares? And reader earn. That's kind of nice. Gold earned. Whatever. And it's got toughness. Maybe better than having a life. Thirteen life or plus two toughness. 
That sounds like treasure sense though. I don't give a shit about that. Let's go on uh, toughness. Got a cool mask on now. Okay, sword by type. So what do I got right now? I got uh, 49 on right now. What's better than 49? 50? Here's 68. I can't wear that though. I need 9 strength. Here's 54. Unusual armor. Unlimited on yo. Firearms damage. Toughness plus 2. I like this one more. I like toughness. Okay. Now, what do we got here? So I got 22 on right now. I want better than 22. This requires more strength. Young blood I can wear. Give me 27. Gotta be better than that, though. Nope, that's the best I got right now, I think. Okay. So here we are at 34. This is going to be 43 right off the bat. Big defense bonus. This gives me, um... Running speed, who cares? Don't care about that. This one's 46, even better. Yeah, I need more strength for the Warrior of the West set. We're at 28 right now. I want to get higher than 28. Here's 31. Okay. 35, but I need 9 strength. Okay. I don't think I have found many weapons that are like axes. I could be wrong about that. Let's see what we got here. Pickaxe. Uh, 186 attack power. Here's a bandit axe, 203. Item drop rate, gold earned, blah blah blah. Parry critical, whatever. Okay, this is better. A little bit better. Okay, we got a new axe, I guess. Doing a little more damage, defending it's a little more damage. It's whatever. I don't care about those. Let's try for a little bit longer and call it a night. So where am I? Where am I dropping down at? Okay, I'll go back this way. I'm in mid-stance, right? Right. Okay. Not doing noticeably more damage. Yeah, run over here. Yeah, I think I'm not any stronger, really. I changed my gear. I think I'm pretty much the same. I could raise my strength by a point and then get the Warrior of the West stuff. Am I, how close am I to 9 strength? No, actually, I have to raise 2 points. Eh. 
I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. It's just a matter of execution. I have to be able to dodge these, uh, those fireballs. Without that, I think I'm fucked no matter how much points I've got. so fast. <laughs> Need to run away. delay. Dude, that damage is disgusting. Damn, she recovered faster that time. I blocked! I blocked instead of dodging. I thought she was gonna come in and attack me. You get a lot of health back these days. Make me so mad, dude. <sighs> I think the extra stats help me out there. I think the extra stats help me out there. Also, I was punching a triangle instead of square, which I think helped me out. Okay. Uh, no. Anything else? Any treasure here that I missed? Mm, no. 
All right, let's go. What we got here? This Nagamasa, whatever his name is. What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You must got eaten by a fucking vampire. You seem awfully fucking calm. What the fuck? Am I unlocking these as spirit animals I can use now? I don't care, dude. I kind of gathered that much already. I know it's crazy, right? Monsters in a video game. Now the country is riven in two, and battle looms between the clans Ishida and Tokugawa. You guys ain't worried about the fucking monsters? For the sake of this land and its people, we must make it our last, our last war. Thank you for that cinematic. War is raging in feudal Japan. No. Yeah, thank you, Tex. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Damn that Ishida and his schemes that pulled my father down. They fuck with my pops, dude. I will join Master Yasu and make him pay. Nagamasa, you stupid son of a bitch. Calm yourself. He just got fucking half eaten by a vampire. Take five. He's got a dragon spirit. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Calm down. Everything has been taken care of. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cute anime sidekick. Gotcha. Hey, Deadlock, walk my board, bro. How you been, homie? Lord Kanbe, I suspect you knew the yokai did it all along. So? I mean, didn't he literally tell me before the mission, you're skilled in fighting yokai, so I'll go save my son? That's literally what he fucking said. Okay, here's the waifu. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Golden hair, I thought he had silver hair. Inform Master Hanzo that strange things are afoot in Tachibana of Bizen. Or Bizen, excuse me. Who are you? I dislike the company of drunk samurai. Hey! I am no samurai. <laughs> but I am drunk. What? Yeah, exactly. What the fuck kind of thing does that say? Even Chad thinks it's too much weeb. You don't mind that, uh... That, uh... Those almond eyes, though. Put it that way. My boy got yellow fever. Sir William, excuse me, Sir Chad, I can't thank you enough for saving Nagamasa. You have my utmost gratitude. That said, though my fellow countrymen and I have some familiarity with foreign names, I'm afraid I cannot help but find yours difficult to pronounce. Guess that makes sense. But I suggest calling yourself Anjin from now on. It means pilot in Japanese, fitting for a sailor. What? Just call me fucking William. 
Okay. An, om an ominous cavern unlocked. All right. So I unlocked a Twilight mission. But where? An ominous cavern. I got the best of the worst and the bleeding spider lily. I don't got no ominous cavern. Oh, wait. It was unlocked. So maybe now if the stars align and the timing is right that it would normally pop up here, I can act. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, so now if I was at the time of day where that would show up, there it is. It would be there. That seems like a really dumb system. Hmm, okay. So, I got a lot of souls. Not really. I can't even level points, I don't think. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got some hard souls, I think, right? Let's go to the shrine. Level up. I need about 1,500 more. I can't access my menu from here. Here we go. Okay. Spirit stones. I don't have enough. Can't even level up of that fucking boss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Change garden spirit. Do I have unlocked any new ones? Mm, no. Maybe. Was this bull always here? Maybe I can't pick any of the ones from the beginning. I have to re-unlock them or something. Like the dog ain't here anymore. And whatever else the other one was, but now I have a bull. So maybe I maybe I did unlock one. But uh But yeah, I need to I can't unlock the original ones. Like Pokemon, you can't catch the starters. Okay. So how many Kodama did I miss in that stage, do you think? I have a shit ton of money. Where was I just now? Deep in the shadows. I'm missing one Kodama from there. Okay. So the thing to do, I... Th oh, right, I know where you might be. But can I leave a mission if I go in or to finish it? I don't want to fight that boss again, so fuck that. Let's go here and check out the blacksmith. I have so much money, man. So much money. Uh, Dick said it's for forging and reforging, or refashioning, or whatever. Oh, no, there's reforge. Money is for forging and reforging. That's no good. I don't need that anymore. I, that's not a good bo boost to my attack power. So what is reforge? Improve the special effects. Okay, I like that. Let's go to my axe. I mean, that's going to be my axe for a minute, I think. It's pretty buff. High attack damage. I think that means my high stance. Can I check that somehow? Yes. That's going to be my main stance anyway. Final blow damage? What does that mean? Increase damage of final blow. It's some kind of special move I don't have. High attack break. Okay, so it's good for high stance. I like that. Can I reforge this? What's it gonna do? Cost me just gold? It just cost me gold, huh? No, no, it's cost me spirit iron fragments. Okay, well. Okay. Wait, it transformed that into familiarity damage bonus? And weaken armor feet? Wait, what? The fuck, I thought I was going to make those better. They just changed them totally. Don't worry about reforge till you're running around with legendary weapons. Be okay. Legendary as in purple. As in to perp. Well, now I'm curious, though. What the fuck? I just rewrite them. They're like... Is that better than it was before? 9.2 is a little bit better than it was before. Familiar damage bonus isn't bad anyway, so I wouldn't complain. Too late. <laughs> okay. 
grapple damage, break plus seven, mid attack damage, nah, son. Low attack break, high attack key reduction. Okay, I like that. Close combat attack, zero key enemy. So that's the one where I kill, the killing blow. Does more damage now? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna... I got plus 13 parry. That's kind of cool. Close combat attack critical. Nah, it's only be no good. Skill break. That's kind of cool. Better run out of stuff here. 14 break. Okay, I... That's okay. I like that. More parry, more break. Attacking, shielding, foe. That's fine. Okay, well, I understand how that works now, I guess. Kind of. Kind of. I reforge my armor, too. But do I have... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use this armor for very long, anyway. I need to raise my strong so I can wear that uh, western set or whatever. Okie dokie. Cool beans us. Thank you guys as always for hanging out with me. If you enjoy hanging out with me and want to keep the channel online, please subscribe on Twitch. Um, you can also follow or tell your friends. Both huge helps to me as well. Get in the chat. Save some clips on Twitch. If you're new around here, check out my YouTube channel. It's all my past streams archived. Mission changed to Twilight Mission. It sounds like a rough translation there. I think that just means I have new Twilight Missions, right? Yes. Yeah, on YouTube, I have all my past streams archived, usually in higher quality than the stream itself. Um, that means like 1080p, 60fps mostly. I also have a playlist there for all my games, like Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, Ninja Gaiden, um, Third Strike, Street Fighter 3, all kinds of fun stuff. I'm going to call it a night here, I think. Uh, do some behind-the-scenes stuff and for another couple hours here. I'll see you guys tomorrow at uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time with some uh, Sonic 2, I think. We'll do some more Genesis gameplay. It's like the Hedgehog-type stuff. Then after that, uh, third strike, of course, until uh, from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Then from 10 to 2 in the morning, it's going to be Fight Club Special Edition. If anybody shows up, maybe nobody's going to show up. We can do some uh, Neo. Who knows? Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Yeah, good night, Dix. Good night, Steve. Deadlock. And all the rest. I am hitting the hay. After a little bit of YouTube type work, I think. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Dix, for hanging out with me. If not for y'all, there'd be no reason for me to do this. So I appreciate that. Let the uh, network survive the whole night, huh? We'd have to get a hold of Comcast and ask them for some statistics.